it would never work. I don't get it. I was sure that Floopaloo would love some sardine-flavored chips. I think you might have lost your super reporter instinct. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna find the Floopaloo all by myself. And my gut tells me this time I'm gonna get it right... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you were lucky, my friend. Right on my pile of leaves. Without that, you would have broken your paws for sure. You okay, Matt? Well, I'll be. Am I mistaken, or am I standing in front of an authentic shoe? It's true. My grandmother was a shoe. How did you know? After 32 tours around the world, one has an instinct for these things. Matt! Lisa! Is everything okay? Oh, I heard you screaming. Nobody's in a panic barrel. I'm not hurt. It was I who saved him. An old Floopaloo trick is to stay incognito. <gasps> and he also knows the Floopaloo. He's got to come with us. I don't know. I've got this strange feeling that... He um... saved your life, Matt. What more do you want? Delighted to meet you, my dear lady. My name is Louis Ambrose. My friends call me Louis. <laughs> Right, well, that's enough, huh? Beryl? Perhaps we could invite Louis to camp to thank him? Oh, what an excellent idea, Lisa! <laughs> there is no sense in bothering this man any longer, Beryl. Actually, I have all the time in the world. I accept your invitation. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> oh, what an incredible story! Mm -mm, that's not all. Didn't I tell you about the time? Um, how I saved two baby dolphins from a gang of famished sharks? <sighs> well, I shall tell you. We don't have that time. Anyway, Louis Ambrose will have plenty of time to tell the story later. He's staying with us until tomorrow. Hmm? Most certainly not. And anyway, there is no room. He can take Matt's bed. Hmm? And you'll take the armchair, okay? <sighs> Oh, Louis Ambrose, I officially declare you camp guest. Yes, yes, bravo and all that. But it's time for our afternoon activities, so see you later. Now that we're alone, you can tell us all about it. All about the Flupaloo, I mean. Where he lives, what he looks like. Uh, he's, uh, big. We can talk about him later. Let's go play soccer instead. I was ten-time forest champion, you know. Hmm. You call that soccer? The Floopaloo would find that ridiculous. Besides, I taught him everything. A word of advice, Malik. You never, ever aim. Skill is being able to kick the ball as hard and as far as you can. Oh, that's the best advice I've ever heard. Pretty please, can you coach us? I accept. <laughs> good, kids, good. Lisa, try to use your hands more. Him for heaven's sake. Oh, the children seem to really like him. Yes, well, I find him rather vulgar. He's hardly what I would call a model for the children. <gasps> you who? Louis Ambrose! <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Hmm. Ah, perfect timing. I'm all out of crackers, so if you wouldn't mind getting me a box or two. Actually, I wanted to ask you a few questions about the Floopaloo. <laughs> It's been ages since I've seen him, you know. Hmm. Ah! Oh, I'm going to drop it! Quickly! It's my favorite flower! You've got to do something! Don't move! I'm coming! Oh, oh thank you, Louis Ambrose! <laughs> You are such a hero! Well, I was born that way. <sighs> He's totally awesome. You can stay as long as you wish. I am moving you up to the rank of Guest of Honor! Yeah! 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 I was supposed to save her. It is clear that one of us is going to have to leave the camp. And that one's me. <laughs> oh, 
Then I grabbed the wild boar by his tusks and stared him dead in the eyes and said, I think you forgot to say please. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Some of us are trying to sleep around here. It's almost time for breakfast. Then bring it to me. No, not until you tell us something about the floopaloo. Louis Ambrose! Ignatius promised me he'd fix the washing machine, but I can't find him anywhere. Don't you say another word. I am the man you're looking for. Oh, thank you, Louis Ambrose. Can I count on my little reporter and my little Sue for a mission of utmost importance? <laughs> There's something fishy going on. Each time I ask him about the Floopaloo, he dodges the question. The Floopaloo probably asked him not to talk about him. Oh, yeah? Well, then how do you explain this, huh? I found it yesterday, and it's not like Ignatius to leave it behind. <gasps> I bet that Louis Ambrose got rid of him. That's total nonsense. Do you have proof? No, not yet, but I'm gonna get some. <laughs> Haven't you ever wondered what Louis Ambrose was doing when I fell? Uh, a prisoner's ID? So he's not a real adventurer after all. <laughs> <sighs> okay, you've got super intuition. You were right. <clears throat> it seems that somebody has lost something. <laughs> you actually found it. Well, guess what? I lent it to Lisa and that poor little girl lost in the forest. And you know what? I don't even think she's a real Sue. Ah! What do you know? I was just telling Matt here a little joke. Might it have something to do with this? I have a feeling Beryl is going to enjoy your jokes, too. Hmm. In any case, it's going to be your word against mine. And I happen to be the guest of honor. So little thanks for the little visit, but right now I'm very busy. Uh, this is all my fault. We're never going to get rid of him now. You're right, only Ignatius has the power to get rid of a guest of honor. Oh, if only he were here. Children! Ignatius, but, but what are you doing in there? I wanted to leave, but I was afraid to get lost in the forest. So I decided to set up house in here. Would you like to come in for a hot chocolate? Hmm? Uh, no thank you, but you can't stay in there. The camp needs you. But I am of no use. Louis Ambrose is replacing me. But we count on you, and so does Beryl. Have you thought about her? Yes, all the time. Now leave me alone. Come on, Lisa. We're going to have to do this on our own because Ignatius has decided to abandon us. Wait! Louis Ambrose? There's someone who would like to talk to you. If it's Brian wanting to play soccer again, tell him I'm busy. No. It is not Brian. is going on in here? Acute idleness, dubious hygiene, looting cookie stocks. It looks like your number is up. But aren't I the guest of honor? Article 785 of the Summer Camp Code. All guests of honor must submit to the same rules as everyone else and is in no way exempted from the following activities. Dishes, cleaning the cabins, picking up garbage, washing, and the origami workshop. And if he or she disobeys, nothing will exempt him or her from the ultimate punishment. The Red Adventurers, nothing but a bunch of whips. <laughs> so how about telling
telling me the truth for once. When you first met me, I was on leaf-raking duty. That was my punishment for having lied to the Beaver Brothers, and to the Rabbit family, and to all of the other animals in the forest. I can't control it. I'm a big, fat liar! <laughs> even more, I never even left the forest. <laughs> I've never even met the flu <laughs> Then why don't you just go off on a real adventure? But what about my punishment? I'm sure we can work something out. Right, Floopalo? Adventure is all mine. Thank you, Flupalu. And thanks to you, I will finally have some real stories to tell. Have a safe trip. And no more lies, promise. Promise. Goodbye, my friends. So what does your intuition tell you now? Uh, that the Flupalu is still in the neighborhood? So how about a little photo safari? You betcha. Oh dear, I didn't bring anything to eat, and I don't even know how to swim. Hey, oh, guys! Hey! Today's program, we're going to have a puppet making workshop for everyone. Yeah! Uh, everyone except you. Hmm? You'd hurt yourself with those plastic scissors. I know, I know. No one trusts me. <gasps> wow! Malik! Malik! Hey, what's Malik, this? Malik! Anti-Malik alarm. You're capable of breaking my beautiful model just by looking at it. Stay here and be safe. Look, there are even some big crayons to color with. Why can't he do the same workshops we do? So he can set the building on fire? No, thank you. You all have fun without Malik. <laughs> it's not fair at all. He treats him like a baby. Um, you gotta admit he's the champion of catastrophes. What? Even you don't trust me? Wait and see how brilliant my puppet will be. Dishwashing duty forever. This is hopeless. I can never fix this. There's only one solution. We throw it in the lake. And what are we gonna do when Ignatius notices that his model's gone? And the lake is not a dump. So this is it. There may be another solution. There's a substance in the forest that can fix anything. Sticky stuff. Whoa! <gasps> According to the notebook, this is where the Floopaloo keeps it. Hmm? That sticky stuff? That looks like chewing gum. The Floopaloo uses this to repair the forest. Ooh. That was just awesome! My turn, my turn! We're not here for you. This is for Malik. I'll put it back as soon as I've repaired the model. Brilliant, it worked! Ignatius will never know. Malik! 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 Oh no, Malik, stop it, Malik. stop it! Uh, What's going on here? It's nothing, Ignatius. Oh, it is unbelievable. What skill, what precision. And here I thought you were so incapable. You're destined for great things. Am I? This was my very first superintendent's uniform. I saved this hat because I knew eventually this day would come. I officially appoint you the mini superintendent. <laughs> it worked! The model's repaired, and Ignatius trusts me now. 
what's with the outfit? The sticky stuff. Did you put it back? Not yet. I'm on my way. <laughs> it's a nap time. Your position as mini superintendent earns you a three star snack. Hey, wait, what about our snack? A spoonful for mini Ignatius. <laughs> Now, my little Malik, a superintendent never shies from responsibility. Here we go. Oh no, my tractor mower is completely broken. There you go, it's fixed. Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you, Malik. You are extraordinary. I think that you can drive it yourself now. <laughs> hey, I may keep you a little longer. <laughs> Ooh, this is so much fun. <laughs> See, little Malik, being superintendent isn't for just anyone. It's a gift. Yes, I can see. Hey, Malik, hmm? we're playing soccer. Are you coming? Coming. <laughs> soccer? Superintendents have much more important jobs to do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Repairing plumbing, of course. Hmm? Oh, you just did that like a pro. This settles it. You have the golden touch. Huh. Here, this is for you. Time for a break? Well, of course. I'll give you a seven and a half minutes. Then, I'm going to show you where I hide Brian's confiscated firecrackers. You deserve that. <laughs> How about that game? We just finished. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll bet you have a trillion things to do with your new best friend. I'm the mini superintendent, and I decide. So I decide that the game's not over. <laughs> Lisa, Matt, Brian, punishment. Oh, no, it was me. I wanted... <laughs> to try and stop them, but those ruffians wouldn't listen. There is only one thing to do. <gasps> Why are you giving me this? Do it. No, I can't. They're, they're, they're my friends. Show some courage, my league. Do it. 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 I done. I punished my friends. I am so proud of you. Here, you earn that. No, I don't want your mustache. <laughs> yes, you want one like mine. But patience, that takes time. Mm? If I fix that window, does that cancel their punishment? Mm, that's a bit of a waste. But why not? <laughs> Good news! The punishment is cancelled! Thanks a lot, Malik. Oops, I mean, Mr. Malik. Oops, sorry, Mr. Mini Superintendent Malik. We are so sorry we broke the window. I know. It wasn't fair, but I fixed it. And how'd you do that? Um, uh... Malik, you haven't taken the sticky stuff back? <laughs> the Floopaloo, he 
must be looking for his sticky stuff. He can't repair the forest without it. Malik, you have to put it back right now. Malik, would you like to see the camp's covered pool? The one for superintendents only? <gasps> A covered pool? <clears throat> I prefer my friends over any pool. I'm going back. We're not letting you go on your own. You don't trust me? Of course we do, but a team has to work together. do about Ignatius? I'll tell him I don't want to be a superintendent anymore, even if he'll lose faith in me. Hmm. I've got a better idea. Oh, come in, Malik. Look what I have for you. Oh, it's you. Beryl sent us. She said you can take your week off now. She said that? That's right. Apparently, she thinks that Malik can get by without you. But, 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 but that's absurd. He, he hasn't finished training. He's far too young. <laughs> well, he's a great superintendent, thanks to you. I guess he's ready to replace you now. Permanently. 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 <laughs> Um, I've thought it over, Malik. A superintendent's job is beyond your age. You'd better be off playing with your friends, hmm? Thanks, Ignatius. That hat was too big for me anyway. <laughs> hmm? Uh, I am in such great shape. I don't need a vacation. Oh, no. Beryl, have you got something for me to fix? Uh, something only a professional superintendent can mend. Well, yes. Actually, I do. Malik, I think I might be needing you after all. Malik! Malik! Look what I found <gasps> in the back of my closet! My favorite card game! Oh, no! That's right! How about a game, Matt? Hmm? Uh, no, I can't! I have to do the dishes! I promised Beryl! <laughs> How about you, Malik? You know, uh, I'm no good with cards. Don't worry, playing is all that matters. I won! You okay, Lisa? <laughs> would end like this. That's just not fair! If you won, it's only because, uh... Because Squeak wouldn't stop making noises. If that's the way it is, I'm not playing anymore. And that's that. Uh, what just happened? Hmm, let me explain. Lisa's a sad loser? Yeah, and the trouble is, she's truly hopeless at this game. <gasps> Which means, when she loses the game, she loses her temper. Have you tried hiding her card game? Of course, I was the one who put it in the back of the closet. But she always ends up finding it. Found it! Found it! Found it! Why not just let her win for once? That would cheer her up and everything would be normal. That's a brilliant idea. They don't understand. Want to play with me? Okay, I get it. Well, I don't need anyone to play with me. Hmm? Floopaloo? Floopaloo, is that you? I'm going to 
to play with a float balloon. <laughs> Right then, but that round doesn't count. How about starting over? Sound good? Hmm? Floopaloo. Floopaloo? Floopaloo! Floopa! He was here, and he forgot his cushion. <laughs> wow. It's so soft. A magic cushion? Ah, so now I get it. That's how the Floopaloo won. What a cheater! But it'd be a shame to leave this. <gasps> Are you guys sure this is going to work? Of course, don't worry. Just try and play as badly as you can. <gasps> Watch out, here she is! Hi, guys! Anyone feel like playing cards with me? I won the game! It seems luck was on my side this time. Yeah, <laughs> well done, Lisa. You played really well. <laughs> How about a super card tournament? Hmm? Sure, but count me out. Hey, you want her to solve for the rest of our vacation? Just play in the tournament and let her win, Brian. <laughs> Yep, he certainly did. Well done, Lisa. Ooh la la. Ooh ooh. I won the game. I won the game. Ooh ooh. I always do. I won. I won. You told ooh, us she was a bad ooh, loser, but you forgot to mention ooh, that she was an I'm awful winner. winner. I'm the winner. Ooh la la. I won the game. I won the game. Ooh la la. I'm yeah, she's really overdoing it. Ooh, what if we won a round? Just one? What is going on here? I was just telling everyone that. I'm the best card player ever. <laughs> Did you say cards? Oh, I love playing cards. Seven times Superintendent Academy Cards Champ, three gold medals for happy families, and all category winner for Goldfish. So you see, cards and I, well, we're an old story. I don't mean to disappoint you, but at this game, I'm the best. Is that a challenge? Oh, no, of course it isn't. Mm. Yes, it is a challenge. I accept. See you later. Prepare to lose. Oh, no. She'll freak out and start sulking all over again. Everything we did will have been for nothing. <laughs> Give it back, but after the game with Ignatius. Uh, Lisa? <laughs> we have to tell you something. Um... Yes, what is it? No, I can't tell her! Go on, be brave! Well, you see, the thing is, all of us, um... Well, we kind of let you win the tournament on purpose! <laughs> nice try, cousin, but forget it. The only reason I won was because of this! Hmm? A cushion? I got it from the Floopaloo. It's a good luck cushion. And if I have it, there's no way I can lose to Ignatius. You mean we cheated for nothing because she was also cheating? Hey, wait, that's cheating! So what? That works for us. Now we're sure that she's going to beat Ignatius. Hello, <laughs> kitties. Waldo, what are you doing here? Well, the Floopaloo has sent for me. He wants me to return his magic cushion. You mean his magic good luck cushion? What kind of nonsense is that? The only power that cushion has is to change size according to who sits on it. You mean it's not for winning games? The Floopaloo does not need a silly thing like that. He naturally wins any and all games. So Lisa won because of us? Then she doesn't stand a chance against Ignatius. Waldo, you're gonna have to let Lisa keep the cushion just for the game, okay? Hmm. Well, alrighty. Yes! Thank you, Waldo. Uh, 
Now, what's the point in that? We already know it's not a good luck cushion. Well, Lisa doesn't know that, right? Well, hurry up and win the game so you can give back Floopaloo's good luck cushion. Are you mm -hmm. kids deaf or what? It is not a good luck cushion. Waldo, what are you saying? That's what I was trying to tell you. The reason you won the tournament wasn't the cushion. It was because we lost on purpose. But why did you do that? We wanted you to stop sulking. Me? Oh, come on, as if I was a sore loser. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a sore loser. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and without magic, I'll never beat Ignatius. Half time over. Congratulations for the first round. But I have something to confess. Up to now, I played with my left hand, and I'm right-handed. But now, I'm playing with my good hand. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Just stay calm, Lisa. And breathe deeply in and out. Um... There! Going to win? It's Uncle Ignatius! <laughs> Was I like that when I won? Nope. You were worse. Hmm? I give up. You're too good, Ignatius. I won! And you have lost! I am the best! Take it, Waldo. I don't need this. Thank you. Loopaloo will be most pleased and... <laughs> oh, who cares about winning or losing? The important thing is we're having fun. See, you get it, Lisa. You're the best. <laughs> The winner! Hey! I want you to carry me! Wait for me, children! <laughs> 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 